Shame that. Yeah, all agreed? Thank you. Uh, 96 is to consider communications as, uh, as you will all see. Um, been fairly busy through December. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to mention. Obviously, the first one is the civic. We have our civic um, dinner, which is a brilliant night. And I'd like to thank you all for your support in that. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. And obviously, the cattle service, uh, which again, I think you'll find this is a, a, a cracking afternoon. And again, I'd like to make a minute of thanks to all the schools and the, the children and the residents of the that attended. Um, and for those of you who don't already know, um, the last two weeks, on the Thursday actually, uh, the 3rd of December, I received notification from um, the National Alzheimer's Society that for eight months I've been working towards an accreditation for Spending Moore to become a dementia friendly community, and I received that accreditation. So Spending Moore is now a dementia friendly community, um, and the hard work starts. Um, so I'd like to everybody who supported me in that, um, I'd like to say thank you very much for that as well. Thank you. Um, move on to item 7, which is performance management. Members are requested to receive the schedule referring to decisions taken at meetings held in December. Madam Mayor, for Council, ladies and gentlemen, can I move that the schedule is accepted? Uh, and it's made, um, again, it's uh, one of these things that stays for your diaries. Uh, if you know, you know that, please, and make sure you put them all in your diaries. Good report, Chair. Yeah, Chair. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, item 9 is the presentation. Again, this is the nice part of the evening. Um, we've got three presentations this evening under section 137 grants. And can I ask a uh, representative from Milton Moor or People's Fund to come forward, please? Or two, or as uh, many there is of you? Thank you. 
It's to provide updates to members on the independent investigation of the commissions to investigate a series of allegations against the Council and its members and officers in a recently circulated flyer. Members will remember at the last meeting of the full Council, the Council resolved unanimously to give a delegated authority to commission an independent investigation <coughs> by an appropriately qualified media associate who have not previously been engaged with the Council and the findings of which will be reported back to this Council in due course. The scope of the investigation, Madam Mayor, is the allegations that have been made in the circulated flyer which are relevant to the Town Council if members and officers while they were engaged with the Council. Following that decision, Madam Mayor, I have spoken to Rick Brody, who is the Chief Executive of ARIO, requesting the engagement of a suitable consultant, um, and as a result, I can provide the details today of how the investigation will be conducted. It will be conducted by a gentleman called Mr. Kevin Wilkinson, who is an ARIO associate. Uh, he was the former head of human resources at the former Tangdale Council. In line with the Council's decision, he's had no previous engagement with spending over Town Council or with members or officers. The investigation ready for the terms of reference is to investigate and produce a report on the matters arising from the aforementioned flyer. And on his terms, Mr. Wilkinson will require the ability to interview existing members and officers of the Council and others and to access, I'm sorry, and access all applicable documentation including council committee minutes, reports, letters, memos and documents related to the allegations. In order to maintain the independence of the investigation, no officer or member of the council will be allowed to interfere with Mr. Wilkinson's work. He will be afforded access to a secure room within the town hall for the duration of his investigation. I've had a number of uh, requests, Madam Mayor, for the following information which, is, which relates to the resources in which Mr. Wilkinson requires. Uh, he's already made a start on his inquiries and he indicates that his initial estimation is that the investigation and his uh, report from that investigation will take the equivalent of six working days, six full working days. Uh, the costs will be the daily rate plus mileage expenses associated with standard Navy or contracts. Uh, based on that advice of Mr. Wilkinson on the duration of his work, it's estimated that at this stage the maximum cost of the investigation will be approximately £3,500. It's intended that the investigation report will be circled for the public domain and once completed, the investigation report will be received by the subsequent member of the full council. I give one recommendation at the bottom of the report and I demand that's to know the contents. I'll just clarify the minor point, uh, and that's on item 2.3, which is uh, all allegations made in the state of the which are relevant to the town council, its members and officers whilst they are engaged with the council, so that does include consultants. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Can we notice the floor, please? Three. Thank you. Okay. Item 13, notice to remove shelter. Again, members are requested to consider the report by the facilities manager. Yes, to you, Chair. The purpose of the report is to seek approval from members to request the bus job to the next year, uh, primarily to, to uh, request approval uh, for planning permission to be given um, by the county county or to request planning permission. Um, the proposal is that the members agree to visit um, the site and award members to agree a replacement type uh, <coughs> to seek planning approval from the county and most importantly uh, to do some consultation with the local residents. Um, and to go out to the Q1 subject to planning, consultation, and approval being given. Chair. Okay. Yeah, can I thank the Insult Manager for his uh, report? Obviously, the local ward member is particularly interested uh, that this bus shelter be replaced. It uh, has been heavily graffitied uh, with some quite abusive uh, language and words on there. And I know it's obviously a distress to the uh, residents who live directly behind the bus shelter. So I would uh, hope that you can agree with the recommendations and I'll move the recommendations as we watch Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Item 14 is the uh, Albion Street Fence. Again, members are requested to consider the report by the facilities manager. Yeah, do you share the purpose of the report to provide members the current problems being experienced in the local report field? Seek members approval to go out to tender to identify uh, the cost of the fencing subject to approval being given uh, and request approval to go and seek uh, for planning proposals on, on the fence. The current situation is that the football field is open for local people to walk their dogs on the field and the result of 
as bad as the football team using, using the pitch have to spend some big time before each game picking with doctor <coughs> to enable games to actually take place. There's also been a number of incidents recently where cars have been driving over the pitch and using it as a racetrack causing significant damage and there's some photographic evidence there for members to see. Uh, the proposals are that a perimeter defence is introduced at the Albion Football Pitch, a sample of the potential uh, fencing is enclosed, and obviously any size of any fencing would be subject to planning. Um, that a planning application be submitted to Durham County County, including any appropriate and all appropriate consultation with neighbouring uh, properties and residents. It's also uh, been previously suggested by one that a multi-use game facility on the old tennis court land be developed in the future. This proposal, along with the Wood Street play area, sorry, the Wood Street play area, <coughs> would alleviate any concerns around children having limited facilities for play in the immediate vicinity. It is proposed that such a project would be investigated and the feasibility report be provided at a future meeting of the Recreation Committee. Members are recommended to agree to the proposals identified in section 3 of the report, Chair. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Um, as with any project like this, I think the most important thing to do is consult with the local residents, and I'm pleased to say that the facility manager has mentioned that that will indeed be the case um, in his report. Um, I think that an offence of this type uh, would indeed help against the dog farm problem that's up there. I know it's a quite a widespread problem around the town of the members' company, but there are several concerns about dog power. But we have to remember we've got a football team up there who are in for the use of the pitch. Um, and as such, we should help them out however we can. And I understand at the minute they're actually able to pay somebody to clean the pitch or whether we someday follow them, um, which clearly is an unacceptable thing to be happening. Um, I also know the potentially high cost of such events, um, and so I welcome the um, the idea from the facilities manager that this goes out to a tender process as it should uh, with regards to our financial, um, our financial standing orders to make sure that we get the best value for money. It may very well be the case that we can uh, achieve this project in considerably less than the, the initial estimate. Um, I will move. Uh, I think it's fair, worth bearing in mind in 4.2 there that we do have the money in place in the capital spending budget. Um, to include this project. And so with that, I'll move the recommendations to the project. Second one, Matt. Yeah. Uh, yes, Chair. Uh, yet again, we've had an item uh, slotted in to a different um, heading to that which uh, we've been presented with. We were presented with a report on the Albion Street football field, yet uh, in the content of the report, it then moves on to a multi-use games facility. That multi-use games facility, with its uh, resultant costs, should be put in an independent report and not included in a report that uh, involves football fields. I would therefore recommend that uh, we do have uh, further discussion on the multi-use games facility on a different agenda item at a future date when we have a lot more information presented. Through you, Chair, uh, I think that you know, what the point is, if that's been misunderstood, what I've tried to do is to demonstrate that consideration has been given and it is suggested that a future report does come back to the uh, Recreation Committee completely independently of this report on that. So I don't know if that answers the input on this question. Thank you, Yes, Chair. Yeah. As a regular spectator of summer football, I fully understand the sentiment behind this proposal. And it is important that we try to put a program in to tackle the issue, not just in Hillsborough, but in all our football sites. At present, I cannot support this recommendation for a number of reasons. <coughs> Firstly, the football pitch is a value of open space, which is an ever shrinking commodity. And the Wood Street play area, in my opinion, would not compensate for the loss of this amenity within the communities of war. In regards to the proposal for a multi-use games area, I think it's an excellent idea and worthy of discussion, but in the future as a separate costed project. 
Secondly, as though that fixes be a set of problems, we can't expect, if this recommendation goes ahead, that requests will not be made for our other pictures to be brought up to a similar standard. This could lead to an expense of up to £100,000, and this needs to be worked into a three year financial plan. Assuming this council still does not have, we, continue, we cannot continue to drop in projects such as this in very short notice. Finally, I'd like to add we are currently running without a management committee in the Snow Community Centre where the pitch is situated. This has led to le less use of the building. Sorry, sorry, Madam Mayor, this has nothing to do with uh, the Community Centre Management Committee, has nothing to do Chair, with the plan. I haven't finished what I was going to say. There's point of order, Madam Mayor. 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 Point of order, so I cannot support this proposal and would like to know <coughs> that a public consultation takes place in regards to fencing of all our football fields and subsequent loss of public immunity. Should we agree that the fencing is to go ahead, it should be introduced through a three-year financial plan. Now, this short term, we look to resolve the problem through signings and consultants with and consulting with outside agencies. So, uh, was it to say what? Do you want to add as amendment? Yeah. That's okay. So, uh, we'll now we'll actually take a vote on the amendment first. That's okay. Yeah. So, all those in favour of the amendment, which Councillor Thompson's just called. All those against? Any abstentions? And we'll now move on to the original, which was a recommendation put by Councillor Galvant. All those in favour of the recommendation? All those against? Any abstentions? Okay. Uh, with that in hand, uh, I'd now like to move on to item 15, which is the exclusion of the present program. Uh, 